All right, what's going on, guys? Today I'm going to be showing you my 2024 gun collection from the first pistol I bought to the last gun that I bought. So to start off, the first ever gun I bought was this 22 um, Life Card, which is like a credit card size pistol. They do offer this in the 22 Long Rifle, but I got mine chambered in the 22 Win Mag, as you can see. And I'll show you what it looks like opened up so you guys can get a better look at it. So it'll look like this. You can only shoot one bullet at a time, but it's still fun to shoot. And then what you'll do is you'll put the bullet in there, right there in the barrel, then you'll close it, then you'll pull this back. There you go. And then just, just like that. And it is safe to dry fire, it won't cause any issues. So this is the first gun I ever bought. The second one I ever bought was this FN 509 Tactical. FDE version, as you can see. And I put a Parker Mount Machine Compensator on there. And that will help with the recoil, but this is what the gun looks like. It's a very nice pistol. It's fun to shoot. One of my favorite guns to shoot. I probably wouldn't carry it because of how big and heavy it is, but it still makes for a good, like, car gun or a gun to have at the house. The standard magazine you'll get is a 17-round magazine, as you can see. And, yeah, that's the second one I ever bought. The third one I bought was this Kimber 1911. I got mine chambered in 9 millimeter. And I'll show you guys, as you can see, 9mm right there. This is another fun gun to shoot. Not too much recoil, very very smooth. It's a bit heavy, so I probably would never carry this, but it's just something you can have at the house, you know. And the magazine you'll get is an 8 plus 1 round magazine. And I like this one because it'll come with the grip safety and then a manual safety as well. It also is hammer fired, but yeah, another fun gun to shoot. You'll also get a threaded barrel with it. And then it'll be optic ready. So the fourth gun I got is this P365 XL Gray. And I bought this to be my everyday carry gun because of how small it is and how light it is as well. Another fun gun to shoot. And I also like it because it comes with that manual safety. And then I got this 17 round magazine to go with it. And I bought this one because it has extra base plates to make the grip a little bit bigger and kind of like extend that out. And I'll show you what it looks like in my hand. So it makes it easier to hold the gun and everything. But another good pistol right there. The fifth gun that I bought is this Canic TP9 SFX. This is like a competition pistol, but you can definitely still carry it. It is a bit bigger but it is still light so you can definitely carry this gun and the standard magazine you'll get with that one is a 18 plus 2 I only got 17 in there right now but you'll get an 18 plus 2 round magazine and in the box you should get two of these magazines which is pretty cool another fun gun to shoot very light you know not too much recoil now out of all these guns my most favorite pistol is this m and 57 because of how light it is and how accurate it is you know, come with cuts on the slide to kind of help, you know, release the pressure in the gas when you shoot the gun. This one will come with a threaded barrel and it will be optic ready. The only issue with the 5.7 pistols is just the cost of those bullets. You know, they're pretty expensive at the moment, but it's still a fun gun to shoot. It's pretty light. I will definitely make this my carry gun as well. And this one will come with the standard magazine. This is a 22 round magazine. I'll show you guys real quick. And if you live in a state where it's illegal to carry 22 rounds, they do offer 10 round magazines for this gun as well. But yeah, another fun gun to shoot. One of my favorites. Then my most recent purchase is this kel -Tec. I got mine chambered in the M&P 9mm. So all that means is that the Magwell will only hold, you know, M&P magazines. But this is a 17 round magazine that came with it. This is another fun gun to shoot of how accurate it is and this one also folds up you can put this in your backpack and i'll show you what that looks like real quick just give me one second so when you fold it up it'll look like this and then you can easily just throw that in the backpack it makes it a lot more small and compact so yeah, that's pretty much it for my gun collection. I'm still new to the game and I'm still learning, but this is all that I have so far. And thank you guys for watching.